How is it December right now? What is going on? Hey, my name is Lore. I am a content creator living in the greatest city in the world. And welcome to my YouTube channel. I'll take you all around New York City and I'll record it all on my camera. Please enjoy today's video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Oh my God, what's going on guys? So in the summer when I made my list of videos that I wanna make in college, this video was at the top of my list. I think that it is so important for someone who is possibly thinking of coming to my school next year to know a student, a freshman evens, honest opinion about their first semester at college. I wish that I was able to watch a video about this for the schools I was deciding between. I hope this is helpful to someone. If you got into Marymount, please comment down below or DM me on Instagram or something because I love when you guys comment saying that you just got accepted or you're thinking about going. I would love to help you in any way and answer any questions at all. So yeah, please let me know down below or any other way. Also, we're going with a purple vibe tonight because A, I don't feel like doing makeup because I just don't care. B, I don't like the lights in this dorm hurt my eyes like you cannot believe and this just keeps me calm and we're just gonna roll with it also shout out jason nash um okay so let's do this my first semester at school all i'm gonna say is wow it was a whole lot this first semester was not what i was expecting it to be but like kind of in the best way possible i guess we can start off with school in general i remember calling my mom a couple weeks ago saying that i am so happy that i decided to stay in new york i honestly think i would be so incredibly bored if i went to like a university or a traditional college experience for lack of a better word there is so much to do here and i'm literally so thankful that my school is located where it is if any of you guys don't know marymount is on the upper east side it's so easy access to so many things subways buses it's just like it's such a great place to be and I'm so thankful that I have the opportunity to be here doing what I want to do. So Marymount itself and the musical theater program specifically, I like thoroughly enjoyed my first semester. I would say all except for two of my classes, I absolutely loved. I'm gonna be honest with you guys because I think that's super important. I hated my writing class and I hated my script analysis class. Literally did not want to go ever but that's because i didn't really vibe with the teachers but you know that's okay i still made the best of it and that's all you got to do in a situation where you're not the happiest because you can't really control it you're here in the moment so just got to make the best of the situation not a fan of those two classes but all my other classes i loved and i genuinely loved my teachers with the exception of those two like they were so nice and so helpful and it genuinely felt like they cared which was like so great not that that wasn't like it in high school. I just wasn't really expecting uh, professors, I guess, to be like that. And I think that kind of has to do with the community of Marymount. At least in regards to the teachers, it reminded me a lot of where I went to high school, just because it felt very tight-knit and close and family-like. Um, so I really appreciated that. And I do have some of my teachers the next semester, but most of them I don't. So I'm definitely gonna miss some of them a whole lot and I'm gonna miss the classes because I got really lucky. I had really, really good classes first semester. And next semester, I think I have an even better schedule. I don't have, sorry, I need to burp. I don't have class all of Thursday, so that's really cool. But I am taking on a new job. I'm super excited about it. I will be making a video about it, so I don't really wanna to get too into it right now, but just know that that's coming. I don't really think that the classes here are hard per se. It might just be my teachers, but I didn't really get a lot of work. And I feel like college in general, a lot of the work is like busy work. It's like essays and like papers, like, which is fine. Like, I don't really have a problem with that. I guess I kind of was just expecting there to be more work. It's only freshman year and it's the first semester so you never know. If we want to talk about like the social aspect of school, I mean there were definitely times where I wanted to go home um, but I feel like that's kind of the stress and anxiety of being a freshman. Like you're still trying to like find where you belong, I guess. I mean, I had a couple like friend issues, but it's in the past now and I'm happy that it happened in the beginning of the year as opposed to like now or the end of the year because I feel like that would have been more detrimental to my mental health. But yeah, everyone here is like pretty nice for the most part. I would say like 95% of the people I've met are like really willing to like just talk to you and be your friend. I kind of mentioned this in my last video, but recently I felt very alone and I just kind of have some like anxiety with 
school sometimes. I've mentioned this a million times, but as you guys know, I got surgery in July and I can't dance the whole first semester of school, which like really sucks. And honestly, over the last like month or so, it's really been taking a toll on me because I feel very disconnected from my class as a whole. I feel like people are very close friends because they go to dance every morning together. And that like kind of sucks for me because I want to be there and I want to put in the work, but like I physically can't. And it just makes me feel very like disconnected from everyone. Um, but that's like really the only like huge issue I've had this year, so far at least. And I, I know that I can't dance next semester. Hopefully by next year they allow me to dance and I won't be feeling that anymore. But I know that really has been bothering me and it's nice to just get that out in the open. The only person I tell is like my mom, so. Aside from the people that I kind of just see in passing and in class, the friends that I made here are literally some of the greatest, greatest people ever. Like, I'm so thankful. I have such a great room, like shout out Nadia, Reagan, and Mia. You guys are awesome. And like, it's such a great environment here. I really don't have any like issues, which is nice because I know that a lot of my friends' rooms have had really big problems and like, that makes me really sad that they're not able to like live with the people they thought they could. My friends, like I I'm gonna miss a bunch of people and I'm not gonna say them all, but like shout out Ashlyn, Charles, Jack, Jake, McKenna, Kate, Jesse, like literally all of you, Alani, uh, I love you guys. Like seriously, some of the best people ever. And I'm so, so thankful to have met you guys. You guys have made this first half of the year incredible. I'm so thankful to have met you guys here. It's so crazy to think that like this is college and like you tell your kids about like your best friends at college and the fact that I can talk so highly about all of you is amazing. And you guys are just so talented and kind and you make me feel so at home and special. And I'm, I'm so proud of everything that you guys have done this year so far. And you guys are absolutely amazing. My roommates, my friends, love you guys so much. Being in the city is probably the best part about going to school here. I'm from New York, I've lived here my whole life, so being here just feels so safe and at home. And I was talking to some girl on the way back from school today, and she's from Florida, and she was saying that it's so weird because when I'm here, I want to be at home in Florida, but when I'm in Florida, I want to be back in New York. And what I told her was, you hate New York City until you leave it, and I feel like that's so true. I've definitely gone home a couple weekends just because I was like, I needed a break from this sometimes, but I really feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be, which is like so great. I'm honestly so happy living in this city. Like, it's crazy. It's just so crazy to think that I even was thinking about going somewhere else and just like leaving where I need to be at the end of the day. And that's just so insane to me. And I'm so happy I decided to stay here. And I'm so happy that I decided to pick Marymount because I really feel that this school has taught me like so many things just about life, about acting, about theater, about me like growing as a human being. I feel like I've improved so much and I feel like there has been growth and that's what I want to get out of all of this I think at the end of the day like I want the growth and I want to be able to look back and say wow there was definitely an improvement and I'm so glad that where my money was going and where my effort and time was going paid off I guess in the end there's seriously so much to do here and I walk out of my door and I fall in love with this city every single second of the day opportunities that's like the huge thing like I have two jobs like that's crazy and I'm a college student like that's insane the fact that I'm able to put myself out there and live like eight different lives I feel like there's a life on here I feel like there's a life at school I feel like there's a life at one of my jobs I feel like there's a life at another one of my jobs it's just so crazy how this city rips you apart in the best way possible. I just feel so much happier and stronger here. And I tell everybody that only the strongest survive in the city. And I think that is so incredibly true. And you really need to have tough skin here because this city will take a bite out of you, chew it up and spit it right out and not care one bit. When people arrive in New York, they always have that saying, I took a bite out of the Big Apple. But honestly, I think the Big Apple took a bite out of me. I felt that this video was very, very important to make. And I hope that somebody watching this it helps you in some way I do want to say that the theater program here is very 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 underrated we are a BFA so it's like we are just as good as any other school I, I think it's just the knowance of the university in general is not you know like uh, University of Michigan or like uh, 
Penn State. It's it's not like a big school like that, but for what we have, it's amazing. And you might say, oh, I want a big campus, but New York City is your freaking campus. Like, talk about a big campus. I, I mean, obviously I don't go, but my friends take two subways to go to dance and go all the way to the other side of this island. And I go down by Times Square for my voice lesson. I know some people that go to Soho. I will say though, if you are thinking about coming here, you need to just be very conscious about money. Living here is like debt by itself. The only like plus, I guess, about being at a university is like, you don't have to like pay for literally every single thing you do. But here, if you want to get somewhere, you gotta pay unless you're walking, but not everywhere is walkable here. I mean, I guess it technically is, but let's be honest, you're not doing that. I know I'm not doing that. There's a lot of things you don't think about until you're actually here living it, and I know that's definitely been like a whole wake-up call for me. I mean, I already knew that, but it's just like I'm actually living it now, which is like so crazy in itself. Like what is going on? The last thing I'm gonna say, and this doesn't really have to do with Marymount. I think it's just freshman year in general because I've talked to a lot of my friends that even go to like universities or whatever. Mental health in general is so important, but mental health like freshman year of college is crazy important. I think it's something that's very looked over by many people just because you're so busy. But tonight, I was gonna write two papers, but I'm just not. Like, I don't feel in the mental state to do it. And I'm not really that type of person to like put work to the side. Like, I just like to get it done and get it over with. I know for my mental health and just for like my physical health, I need to sleep and I need to be able to talk. And thank you guys so much for everyone that's been supporting me, by the way, and allowing me to have this platform to talk to you guys. You guys have obviously seen, but I've had so many insane opportunities this year and it's really been helping me cope with like issues I've had at school and with friends and all that but I just wanted to also say thank you so much side note but like I was saying you need to be able to say no to things and that's been probably the biggest lesson I've learned over the last year in high school I was like yes central like grand central of yes I did absolutely everything and in college I wanted to do everything and then I sat back and I go, oh wait, I don't wanna do anything. I signed up for all these clubs and blah, 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 and I ended up not going to them. And that's like, so not like me at all. Like, not like me. But you know what? It's for the better and everything happens for a reason. Some things didn't work out in the beginning of the year that I was like really upset about and like I cried over, which was like dumb, but whatever. I'm happy that they didn't work out because now I have two great jobs and it makes me so happy to just be there all the time and have this different environment of people. There's just so many people here and all those people lead to so many opportunities and that's just amazing. Like I don't think I could get that anywhere else. And this, this city is so magical. Like there's so many amazing things about it. It's crazy and it's tough on you and it's gonna make you cry and wanna go back home, but it builds you into this incredible person. And just seeing my friends grow and myself grow over these last couple of months, it's it's been truly breathtaking. I, I really could not ask for anything else. This was a great first semester and I, I'm honestly so thankful for what this school has given me, what this city has given me. Ugh. I'm just so thankful and grateful, and I don't say it enough on here, but just thank you, New York. I love you. Okay, I think it's time to end this video now. I've talked a whole lot, but I never really do stuff like this, so let me know if you want more. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped somebody, just one person, even if it helped, that'd be amazing. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like, comment down below. If you don't want to, I don't really care, and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye! Baby, this is simple.